Yeah, hi. Um, I mentioned um, inserts, uh, inputs and outputs. Now I've got a set of, um, well, one channel of insert leads here which I made up. Um, I'm going to show you basically um, sort of like how they work. And it's quite easy with this set I made up because um, I've got them coloured red and black. And the way they work is like this. Um, You've got, a, you've got a stereo lead, you've got a tip and a ring, a screen there. Um, so what basically happens, uh, depending on um, the make and model of your mixer, it will have it in the manual whether the tip side of it is the send or the return, or if the ring is the send or return, which is the bit in between there, if you can sort of see it there. Okay, now what happens, um, with this particular lead, I've done, I've, I've wired it so that the actual send is the tip, and the send is the red cable. Okay, so the uh, the send part is the tip and the screen there. And what happens is that the signal gets sent from your mixer um, down this line to the send line. And it will then end up, it's the other end of it here, um, as a single signal going in to um, your compressor or a reverb unit or special effects unit or whatever it is. Okay, um, This will then go in to the input and then once that unit has done its processing it will go back on one of these um, as the output and so the signal will then travel back down this lead back along this black cable the signal will then come back through on the ring tip um, so the send tip in this particular situation is this uh, the send is the tip and the ring in the middle is the return um, which is unbalanced so basically each channel you should have um, be like this okay so you've got your insert there and your send and your return there okay now um, these do vary these leads um, so here we have these quarter inch jacks which are doing the job of the send and return but you can also have them so that the send, these send and returns are actual, actually XLR as well. Um, so when you do look in the back of your compressor uh, or sound effects unit, you will see both quarter inch jacks like this and XLR. Okay, um, the XLRs uh, in those situations, you'll see that the the input and output on the XLRs may will be changed between male and female to denote those. So when you are making your leads up, make sure that you check if you're going to be using the XLR ends of these. Okay? Lovely.